Hi guys, just doing a bit of skipping before, before training. Something like three, four minutes. It's very good for you, skipping. If you're a capoeirista, it's gonna help with your footwork and your timing, keep you in shape, avoid injury because you warm up before you do anything. Now, best not to do all these stretching before you train, in my opinion. And I do that at the end. So, a bit of skipping or running on the spot, something, two or three minutes, get the heart rate up, warm up a bit, then we can get on with the movements. It's negative. We're going, although the movement's on the floor, we're going to practice it from a standing position, okay? And it's a good training. If you do 20 each side, if you're a beginner, it's gonna help your basic conditioning, fitness and mobility in the hodder, okay? But I'll show you slowly and clearly the movements. Please notice that it's one hand and then the other. You don't put two hands down and turn like this, okay? Put one hand down, then the other hand. So negative. We're gonna do this movement to get into it, okay? This is a basic training for beginners. Hands this way, hands pull back, stretch up, and just jump down here. Okay? Then we go from one side. Neck achiever, movement on the floor, the hands, the fingers apart, hands about shoulder width apart, must be comfortable, not too far away from the body, not too close, you need to find your place. The, the movement can be used like a enter hash dera, a dodge, a preparation movement to enter a una cabeza, a cartwheel on your head, or au, okay, there's various uh, uses of this move. I personally use it just to keep in good shape. It's really good movement for, for your physicality, you know, in capoeira, okay? So one of the things is that the elbow goes here, next to the body, okay? Can you see that? So this elbow, as close to the body, okay. Lots of beginners stick their elbow out. This actually stays close to your body. So let's have a look quickly at how this is used in pair training. When you're with a partner, they will pass a kick or movement towards you, and you move away. Okay. It's this action that you do initially. If you go straight to the floor, you might miss an opportunity to have good positioning or something like that. So there's no rush. You must react to their movement. You're moving away from their movement. And then you go down with one hand and then the other, okay? And you go low to the floor, okay? When you go, you put your weight on that arm Go low to the floor without touching the floor with any part of your body. This is well worth trying 50 times, 25 each side, once or twice a week in the beginning. Okay, give it a try, see if you can get to 25. If you do them quicker, it's easier. Okay, but don't dismiss the detail. One hand, then the other. Thank <laughs> you.